Everyone has their price, don't you? Come on, be honest with me. What is the perfect amount of money that it would take for you to say yes to having permanent diarrhea for the rest of your life? And I'm not talking the kind of diarrhea that's actually horrific and painful. No, I'm going easy on you people. It's just you're, you're pooing just as frequently as you normally do. Nothing about your routine has actually changed. It's just that the poop is no longer solid. It's going to be liquid ass magma every single time. Nothing but water, like you're pissing out of your ass. It won't even cause any actual medical complications for you. You will be world famous as the person who has completely benign, inexplicable permanent diarrhea. You'll be a medical fucking study for the rest of your life. Hey, you might even make a little more money that way, actually. So, you know... Come on, I think this is a pretty good deal. You get your lump sum, and you're guaranteed a lot of freak show attention for the rest of your life. And hey, those freaks make good money, especially the ones who have permanent diarrhea, because you'll be the only one with permanent diarrhea. Or who knows, maybe you won't. It's possible that the diarrhea genie will come and visit everyone. It'll come right out of a bottle of Pepto-Bismol. You know, the one that you keep in your cabinet that's really dusty? You kind of wipe it off a little bit, and then phew, the diarrhea genie comes out. But why is it all gotta be money? Maybe we can talk about something else. How about this? Lose a nut, gain three inches. And no, you don't get a prosthetic nut. You don't get to make it look normal. Oh no, might as well give you the three inches for free at that point. You only get one nut for the rest of your life. But you gain three inches. Some of us need them more than others. Some of us really don't need them at all. So I suppose that depends who you are. Me personally, I could use the extra three inches, but eh, what's three inches without two nuts? How about this? Gain a nut, gain three inches. Mmm. Well, I suppose that wouldn't be a terrible idea if I could forego the nut eventually, but somehow I feel like I'm probably gonna have to keep the third nut. So, three nuts and an extra three inches? I don't know about that. I'm pretty sure that there's all sorts of uh, implications behind having three testicles that may make that decision a much, much worse deal than it uh, sounds. Yeah, let's not do it. Nah, either way, I'm okay. I'll stay where I'm at. I could use the help, but not at that price. I had another idea kind of along these lines, and of course, it's also got something to do with genitals or bowel movements. I call it Camp Shit Yourself. You know, it'd be like a game show. So we're gonna have 100 people at Camp Shit Yourself, only three outhouses, and you have to shit in the outhouse. You don't have a choice. If you shit anywhere else, you're disqualified. The only way to avoid that is by shitting yourself. So you can't go dig a hole and poo, you can't go use a toilet, you can't do anything, and no diapers. Uh-uh, no. You're wearing regulation underwear. You're wearing tidy whities Oh yeah, that thing's gonna come out of you like a spaghetti strainer, if anything. I think this would be a pretty good game show, huh? Would you watch it? I would. I'd totally watch it. I'm writing the script right now. I'm putting the whole thing together. We're gonna make it happen. I might be a nobody right now, but just you wait till the networks hear about camp. Shit yourself, TM. Alright, I got another idea. Hot tub filled with piss. There's no gimmick, it's just a hot tub full of piss. Wouldn't that be funny? Okay, there's three chocolate cakes and one's made of shit. <laughs> okay, there's three tubs of yogurt and one of them's not yogurt.